Today we're looking at the FireGuard next generation of LED downlights from JCC. Next generation was Star Trek. I think you're right. So from the next generation, there must have been a predecessor, Gordon. Is that where you'd like to start? Yeah, the FireGuard range has been incredibly popular for a long time. But let's have a look at what's changed between the two two designs. So here's our original FireGuard. Okay. So yeah. So from a time when halogen was still an important lamp source. And here's our new LED version. And what JCC have cleverly done here is design this fitting to look like it's an integrated downlight. Oh, it's not an integrated one. You're telling me that's got a lamp in it? Yeah, so I'll just reveal the secret here. Simple twist bezel. Ah, yeah. And you can see there's our lamp and the GU10 uh, lamp holder in there. So what's the advantage to the electrician and maybe the customer for having lamps? Okay, so lots of electricians still like to fit these can style ones for the GU10 lamp. Yeah. And that gives you greater flexibility in terms of uh, some of the lamp colour temperatures out there, possibly yeah. the dim to warm lamps we've seen in previous videos. Some of those smart lamps that are coming in, yeah. obviously different beam angles as well that you may not get with an integrated one. And when we're talking about electricians, JCC have actually listened to the electricians, taken their feedback on board and put some of these into this new design. Yeah, it's a, it's a new concept these days, people listening to what the electrician wants. And yeah, we followed this process around some of its development journey as JCC joined us last year at some live events to get that feedback from the electrician. So we've covered what's important from the customer's perspective, what the front looks like, but probably the electrician more bothered about what's happening at the back and there's been a number of innovations and you've tried these out, Gary. Yeah, so I, I fitted one, so as, as always, it's always good to fit the product. So just the usual stuff, obviously got to strip back the cable before we go and do it. So just dress it into the actual enclosure. It's got push fit connectors, Gordon, which obviously we, we absolutely love in order to make those connections. So just push them into place. And then once I've got them pushed in, I've got a ratchet in cord grip, but the can's slightly different. Yeah, so you'll notice it's got a very slim tapered design at the back, which makes it easier to push through your hole in the plasterboard. Okay, so let's go there. Let's have a closer look at that tapered effect that's making it easier for electricians. Remember how much we like that. Okay, so again, let's just recap. Here's our original design. Yep. So we've got this uh, solid cylinder there. And also the actual connection is uh, fixed to yeah, the actual can itself. So that's about uh, the, the major change here. The actual the connection yep. is loose from it on this cable. It's nicely over sheathed there for additional protection, but look at the can. So that's the tapered design. Right. And what that allows you to do is push the springs back past 180 degrees. Right, brilliant. So therefore, when you're putting it in through the hole in the plasterboard, everything's nicely in line and you're not gonna have to possibly damage the hole that you've just cut. Good, that's nice. That's probably listen to the electrician's feedback on that in order to do that. And they made some changes as well on the actual connection. So I had a go at connecting these desktop in order to show you again how easy it is when we're putting two cables in. So I've already pre-dressed them, just push those into position and then bring the second one in. So we've got two neutrals, uh, two CPCs and two switching line conductors in order for them to go in it. And the, the actual uh, ratchet and cord grip is solid within the unit. We'll look at the original one in a second. So let's see the original one to again for that improvement, Gordon. Yeah, so a slight improvement on there. If I, if I remove this cap, you'll notice it's separate. It is. So Gary's likely to lose that, you'll say, yeah, won't you? Yeah, definitely. Definitely something you'll lose. But then let's have a look at the, the new version. Yeah. So it's again, you can't lose it. It's, it's hinged onto it and it's the cord grip in one. Right, yeah. There's our nice uh, screwless terminals that you're right, you push in. If you had to remove them, you'd just push down the plunger then you'd be able to remove the wires. Okay, brilliant. So again, making things easier for the electrician. So mm. listen to the feedback from them and making those improvements as we go along. The actual fittings themselves are IP rated, depending on whether they are for bathrooms or general use. You've got some gimbal versions here, which are IP20. Yeah, so there's now, two, yeah, there's the IP20 in the gimbal yeah. and it's available in the, in the regular version as well. So okay. this is IP20, but we also have an IP65 uh, version. Yeah, because it's always it's got the glass yeah. in place, doesn't it? Yeah, from the front. So not IP65 from the back. Okay. So you're not going to use this as a garden spotlight, but it is you know ideal for yeah, shower rooms, other areas with high humidity. I like the gimbal ones and, and the covers themselves. Come in four colours, Gordon. Tell me what those colours are. Okay, so I've got the white one here. They also come in a brush nickel chrome and a black finish. Okay, and they're interchangeable, aren't they? Yeah, so you can obviously buy it with the bezel, yep. uh, but you can buy additional bezels if you wanted to change them, possibly at some time in the future, the decor's changed or something like well, that. Let's put you to the test then. Let's get the, the gimbaled version, the ones we can angle, okay. and let's see you interchange them. So that's the, that's the brush, brush nickel. Brush nickel, yeah. everyone likes a brush nickel. And I'll swap that for the chrome one there. Okay. In, uh, 
So you know, yeah, how simple is that? that yeah, like. change the angle. Gimbal mechanism. You can't obviously exchange the gimbal with a non-gimbal version because the can is slightly wider on the gimbal version. So, so again, lovely feature, isn't it? The fact yeah. that you know you can put it, put in your cans. Maybe they decided originally on white, and then they've decided for a different colour. Just uh, flip those out and yeah. change them over. Yeah, obviously you can remove the bezel when you're decorating. It's a good tip. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to get paint all over it. Paint now. all over, yeah, especially on the chrome version. Um, but obviously, let's not forget these are fire rated downlights. They are, and there's been obviously again back to the can. There's been a few subtle changes there. So here's our original can. Right, okay, let's have a little look at that then. So the original can uh, has holes uh, in the back, Gordon. Yeah, so again, you'd, we would have had a halogen lamp in here possibly originally, need to get some of the heat out of there. Right. We, we've made a video about how this works with the uh, intermescent seal that would, e would expand if there, was, uh, if there was a fire. But no uh, holes in the new one? No, because obviously we've dropped to a much lower power level with, with LED lamps. Right. So we don't need those, uh, necessarily those ventilation holes. That leads me in quite nicely as well, Gordon because you can cover these with insulation as well. And the maximum wattage of the lamps that can be fitted in the fittings is seven watt. Maximum seven watts. Yeah. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, I like the fact there's no holes in the back because I used to find that, yeah, you'd get uh, all sorts of debris dropping through there and appearing on the front glass, particularly in an IP rated version. Yeah, okay, so that's another improvement. Yeah, and then let's not forget fire rated. So what else do we have to worry about with fire rated these days, Gary? Oh, we've, le we've left out a joist here that doesn't look like the joist that we traditionally had maybe 25 years ago. We've got the eye joist and we've got the web joist. So we've got a web joist out for this one and it's really important, isn't it, Gordon, that we've uh, had the light fit in itself tested against the structure within the building. Yeah, so it's not enough to say that a fitting is fire rated it must be tested with the joist system that they're using to construct the house and JCC have been really proactive on this and there's a big list on their website of all the joist manufacturers that these fittings are compatible with yeah but check that out because it does change all the time and make sure the fitting you're installing matches the flooring system that's being used within the building you're working in we love this fitting from JCC, but as always, we want your feedback. Have you fitted the first generation of this FireGuard fitting? Are you fitting the next generation at the moment? What's your feeling and thoughts? Please leave those comments below, and we'll try and get back to as many as we can.